In this video, I will explain how you can measure a stairway to see if it's going to need a guardrail. And the most common way of figuring that out will be if you measure from the top of any part of the stairway, including the upper deck area, to the area below, and it's less than 30 inches, then you're not going to need a guardrail, but you're still going to need a handrail on every stairway with two or more risers. And this is according to the International Building Code Book 2000. 2018. However, what most people don't know is that you're just not simply going to measure from the edge of the stairway down to the bottom of the nearest ground. And this is even a building code that I wasn't aware of until I was doing some more research. So the interpretation I was familiar with was that you just simply measure down to the lowest spot from any point of the stairway. And if it was 30 inches or more, then it required a guardrail. And in a situation like this, you're not going to have a problem because if you measure from the highest point on any part of the stairway to the lowest point in the soil, it's not going to be 30 inches. And it's not uncommon to see stairs like this on the side of a slope, maybe between a park parking lot and a building or throughout someone's backyard. However, if we change the slope of the hill and create a geometric shape that will help us figure out whether or not we're going to need a guardrail, then you're going to be surprised at how many stairways you come across actually need a guardrail because someone in the building and safety department or one of the inspectors wasn't familiar with this building code. And this is usually how it goes because most inspectors aren't going to remember every building code they come across, especially this one. However, you are going to be familiar with it now after you've watched the video. So let's go ahead and move it over. And of course, the center point here is going to be the point that we are going to use to line up with any part of the stairway. And since the top is going to create the highest point, we're going to start here. And now would be a good time to actually explain what the building code says. And it says that if you go out 36 inches and measure in any direction around the stairway on that side, and it measures less than 30 inches, so our shape here is 30 inches in height and 36 inches, it has a 36 inch radius. And and you would be measuring horizontal or level out with the 36 inches. So with our shape positioned where we want it, we can see that there is a spot here that is more than 30 inches, telling us that this stairway will require a guardrail according to this individual building code. And of course, for those of you who are not going to have this shape laying around somewhere on your property, then this is how you're going to figure it out. And that will be by using a level or a level with a straight edge to create your horizontal level line and then measure down 36 inches away from the point on the stairway that you have chosen to check the vertical measurement to see if it's more than 30 inches. So let's go ahead and remove the shape to give you an idea of what you're going to be doing. Here you can see where it's more than 30 inches. Another view of it there, and then let's go ahead and throw in another straight edge with a level to provide you with a couple of different positions that you might need to check to see if you're going to need a guardrail. And again, remember a guardrail is not going to be the same as a handrail. A guardrail protects people from falling off of the side of the stairway. And a handrail is used for people to hold onto while they're walking up and down a stairway. Now, if you get it, you can stop the video right here. Otherwise, I'm going to provide you with two more examples. And one of those will be a larger retaining wall. And you can see here that when we go around, we can see that the 36 inch measurement is not going to create a problem for this particular design. However, it could if this wall was going to be just a little bit thinner. And you can see the problem is right here when we come off of here with a 36 inch horizontal line and then measure down vertically to find out that we are going to be more than 30 inches 
Now, if you didn't want to put a guardrail on something like this, I'm pretty sure that you could just simply extend this block wall a little further. So something like this, even though it looks like it could be a nightmare, in some cases it's not going to be. And the same could be held true with something like this. If you came to a situation like this, I'm sure that you could create some type of a retaining wall or resolve the problem by simply adding a little more dirt to this area here. However, there are going to be some situations where you're just going to have to bite the bullet and just put the guardrail in. And as always, I will leave it up to you and your local building department to figure out what really needs to be done, because that's about all I have to say on this particular subject at this particular point in time. So hopefully it helps, and if it did, hit the thumbs up button and let us know you enjoyed the video, or at the very least, learn something new today.